Hello, welcome to the FA Cup fifth round. It's midweek games this week, so it'll be all FA Cup this week, I'm afraid. No Master League until uh, at least next weekend. Well, anyway, let's crack on with the FA Cup fourth, uh, fifth round. As you can see, I play in a two-leg game. I know there's no replays in this round, but uh, I do like to play at the authentic grounds in this tournament. So if there's a replay, there's a replay, and I will get them out of the way as soon as I can, that's straight after the, the round is complete. So, well, anyway, let's have a look at the uh, draw for this uh, fifth round. And you can see the ties I have gone for. I've gone for, I'm going to play as Coventry City against West Ham United. That'll be our first game up. And then I shall be playing the Fulham and Liverpool. That'll be a cracking game there. The Fulham, who's, uh, who are relegated from the Premiership. And Liverpool, obviously, uh, elect Premiership champions. Well, anyway, we've got Grimsby Town. I will play Norwich City, who knocked out Leicester City in the last round. And uh, my big feature game would be Tottenham Hotspur against Manchester United. So, Jose Mourinho at home against his old club, Manchester United. And we'll see how that game pans out later on. But anyway, we'll start with this game. It is West Ham United. And we are going to be playing at Coventry City. And let's see how it gets on. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the London Stadium where West Ham United, David Moyes' team, play Coventry City from the West Midlands in this fifth round of the FA Cup. West Ham United, such a prestigious side in the past, the likes of Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters, uh, you know, you can name them, Trevor Booking. But tonight, they've got a fresh new outlook, fresh new team, and they play Coventry City who actually play there, oh, that's Kenny Gibbs, and play their games at St Andrews after being forced out of the Rico Stadium. Referee gets the game on away, and West Ham left to right in their mauve shirts and shorts. Coventry City changed it of yellow. Well, anyway. Oh, and he's got three on this right-hand side. Hello. Oh, is he? Rice, Declan Rice to Zabaleta. Himself away. Always been a good attacking fullback, Zabaleta, but he's inside to 4 0. Oh, it's a shot, and he scored. What a goal. Just on the edge of the box, received the pass just inside the box. And he's tucked it into that, just inside the post. 4 0. Makes it 1 0 West Ham. And it's been like lackluster game at the moment, but that's just one spark that may crack this game into life. Everybody's always a little bit nervous at the start of these games, but they see 4 0 just catching it just on the edge of the box and putting it past the keeper. 1 0 West Ham. Well, that'll get David Boyce a bit more relief. He might be able to enjoy himself a little bit more now, but game's not over yet. Zabaleta cutting it. It's not. It's still. As we get edged towards. And there is the half time whistle. And West Ham go into a lead of one goal to nil. Four nil to score after 37 minutes. Been a bit of a dreary, lackluster game, but... I'll come back to the London Stadium. West Ham were leading one nil against Coventry. I don't know about you, but I find it very, very strange playing the FA Cup at the in midweek. I'm an old traditionist. I like the Cup, FA Cup at the, set, at the weekend. Still, anyway, Yamalenko will take the... Corner kick, but it's gone court. Masuku. Oh, and he's. Oh, Yamalanko! 2 0. And he's flicked the loose ball up in the penalty box, cut inside, and just took it past the goalkeeper with ease. Goalkeeper no show. A bit of a mistake there by the Coventry defence. Didn't clear their lines. Hang on to, hung on to the ball, a bit too long. And Yamalanko, you can see the class in from the Premiership to the First Division there. You can't give these sort of chances to Premiership players. Yamalanko curled it into the net. 2-0, West Ham, Contry, everything to do now, everything to... Now well, they've got a game on here, but are uh, well, they heading out of this FA Cup? Nice run by them. Oh, now then. Ah, here's Yobaledo. Oh, but now it's too strong for 
Just two minutes injury time, so it looks like West Ham are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Bear Brighton started out, but there's a chance they got a chance for another goal here. Ball over, but keeper gets the deflection. And go on West Ham. Yes, they are. West Ham United are going to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup after a good resounding victory against Coventry City. Two goals to nil. Four nails in Yamalenko. And that will put a smile on David Moy's face. Well, after a game of very, very few chances, uh, in fact, I don't think we didn't have a game, we didn't have a shot on goal, Coventry City. So, so West Ham, yeah, they've won through. So, they're into the quarterfinals, and the next up game will be Fulham and Liverpool. <coughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to Craven Cottage, the home of Fulham Football Club. That today. They play Liverpool in the FA Cup fifth round and ever since the draw was made, tickets were selling like hotcakes. Anticipated game for Fulham, they were so looking forward to this game against the champions elect Liverpool. Goal kick. And Oxley Chamberlain. And Mane. Jorgen Klopp taking this hit. Oh, and it's a Mane. Oh, good save. Oh, but Firmino's followed up. I put it in. Keeper could not keep hold of the shot by Mane. And Firmino, after only six minutes in the game, puts Liverpool one up. Well, it's not the start that Fulham wanted. Kenny. I think the case is don't panic. Mr. Mannerin. <laughs> and he's got a ball down that left hand side, and Cavalio has made a good run. And it's Congolo, can't find Mitrovic in the middle, but. Uh, oh, he's a good header there by Van Dijk. Miller, ooh, Milner was under pressure there by the two Fulham players, but he just put it out for a throw in. Oh, and Matrovic. Matrovic. Cavalio. Oh, and Matavit. Oh, and the head has just. Oh. Oh, Matip just got his head to it and it's just gone out for a corner kick. To Oxlade Chamberlain. Ah, uh, Salah. But, uh, good block. Alexander Arnold crosses it in. Firmino. Good save by the keeper. But Salah's there again. But, oh, and good block. But it's. Oh, that was, uh, and a shot! Oh, what's a Chamberlain? Let's put it wide. And there's Cavalio. He's got Congolo on the left hand side. There he is. Oh, ball in. Machic. Oh, but a minute left in this half. It's still 1 0 Liverpool. Ball over on the far side to Samoa Masala. Ah, but that's the half time whistle. Roberto Firmino scored after seven minutes. Welcome back to Craven Cottage where Liverpool are leading one goal to nil in this FA Cup fifth round tie. Now Cangallo down that's left hand side again. And there's Udi. Cut up. Hot up. Oh, I don't know. It's, oh, he just got his head to it, but it's. Oh, Allison just got his fist to it. Making a substitution. Arter coming off. They come down, but there's Oddy. There's not got. Oh, I know I was going to try one, but uh, oh, but it's very speculative there from about 35 yards. And there's not got. Not making any runs. The fullbacks are they? And Kearney and Kagolo. And it's a shot, but it's just deflected for a corner. And they got a bit of space on this left hand side, but uh, it was easily cut out by the fullback. Shot, but well blocked. Oh, so, referee says two minutes in this game. 
But there's Oxel Chamberlain. Firmino. From Salah. But. Uh, and Ream to great. But there's the final whistle. Liverpool go to the quarter final with ease. They've done a very professional job on Fulham. So. Well, Liverpool uh, go to the into the quarter final, beating Fulham one 0 there in, at Craven Cottage. I think they've done a really professional job on uh, Fulham. So, our next game is Grimsby Town against Norwich City. Hello, good evening, welcome from Blundell Park, Grimsby, where they take on Norwich City in the FA Cup fifth round. Participated games, Grimsby. Looking forward to this. I'm absolutely pleased they've advanced to this stage of the competition. Oh, Grimsby kicking left to right. In their black and white striped black shorts. And Norwich in their canary yellow green shorts. Ah, body side, but uh, close will get to Lewis. Come out. On each step of them. Oh, John Fine, he's got a good ball through there. Jamit shot on the turn, but it's just gone wide. Own, but can he? And there's Robson. And can Robson shoot one? But he's. Oh, he's gone way wide. Out for throw in, no. But there's the half time whistle. Grimsby Town nil, Norwich nil. Tied to fair. Norwich. Well, welcome back to Blundell Park for the second half of this gay FA Cup fifth round game against Norwich City and Grimsby Town. Let's hope something can spark the game into life because it's been absolutely, well, tense affair, we'll say. The hour gone. Oh, place in the quarter for waits these two teams. Oh, shot and scored in the corner. Norwich City have taken the lead. And it's Cantwell. He feed the ball just outside the six yard box, but he's tucked it into the corner, beating the keeper, who had absolutely no chance whatsoever. Play the ball in. Cantwell playing it to left hand side, but he's took the ball, left foot into the corner, 1 0 Norwich. So Grims are making a couple of changes. Curran and Cardwell coming off, Hanson and Hewitt. Wow. Robson, oh, good ball over, but oh, the Norwich defender's got his head to it and he's put it out for a corner. Asson Tyler's getting into the box in a good position, but just couldn't quite connect. Granich, Stepperman, Cantwell. Oh, and Stepperman's through. Can he back and finish it off? He can. Slight mistake by the defender, and Stepperman has doubled the lead for Norwich, which could actually clinch this tie. 81 minutes gone. And Stepperman finding himself on the receiving end of a, a bit of a, a defensive mistake, really, a little bit. There he is, but he's caught it, but he's put it straight in the path of Stepperman, who's just made no mistake whatsoever. 2 0 Norwich City. Oh my. So uh, that looks like game set and match in this tie. And well, Ian uh, Holloway can be proud of his team. He's they're getting it all for this. Uh, had a couple of chances, but nothing concrete. They say it's outstanding chances, but there's uh, Pucky now. He's a danger man. He's a shot. Oh, he's made it three. Oh, Pucky is only first touch of the game. And he's made it three to Norwich. Well, the small contingent of fans from Norwich there making the making the noise. Absolutely, deftly silence from the Grimsby fans. They were in it up to about 80 minutes, and then suddenly Norwich, you see, is through on the middle, and he just leashed a shot. Keeper, no chance whatsoever. Grimsby Town nil. Norwich City 3, I know when they're beaten, oh and now it's... Capwell, with a shot, oh super save! Um, Gibson, oh a 
one again. The defender just gets his head to it. Oh, super save that one by the Norwich keeper. And that's the Zimmerman close. They're playing out the remainder of this game, just keeping control, keeping con uh, possession. Teddy. And it's Byron. Pucky. Finally shot, but uh, McEwen. And that should be the final act of this tie, and it certainly is an easy win in the end for Norwich City. Grimsby within it, within it up to 80 minutes of the game, but two goals by Norwich City have sealed the victory. Well, as you see, my, uh, Norwich City advance into the uh, quarterfinals with no surprises in this episode of... Uh, of the FA Cup, but as you see, the big game to come as will be Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United. Jose Mourinho's Tottenham hosting his old club. Man